This is Dr. J. Mack, and this segment is called Mind-Blowing Medical Mysteries. Okay, this is a crazy, crazy case that I had. This is one for the ages. I'll never forget it. And this all stemmed from an over-the-counter medicine that this patient take took way too much of. All right? So be thinking in the back of your brain what this could have been as I tell this story. All right. So the patient comes in and she says, my sinuses are draining down into my belly and just causing all these problems. And I was like, interesting, tell me more about that. And she's like, oh, it's just been going on for like a week or so. And my stomach is just huge. Like what's happening with my stomach? And I looked down and her abdomen was protruding out like that scene in Alien where that alien is like trying to pop out of that guy's belly. I mean, it wasn't like moving, but the way that it was pouching outward was really unique. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. And I'm pressing on it and it doesn't exactly feel like a mass, but I'm like, is this a, like a, like a, a huge ovarian cyst? Cause ovaries can end up developing these huge cysts that take up the entire abdomen. Is it a mass? Is it cancer? Is that her stomach? Is there just like a ton of air in her stomach and her stomach has somehow ended up like protruding um, out of kind of the normal limits of what we would think for the abdominal wall? And I was like, what is happening? I need to do a CAT scan. And so, you know, I get a lot of labs as well and uh, and do a little bit more history, but nothing really is, is, you know, is coming to the surface that could explain any of this. And I start to get her labs back and her kidney function is horrible her creatinine was like eight or nine and a normal creatinine is like in the low ones basically it's eight or nine so it's like eight times higher than it normally is and higher is not better this woman is in acute kidney failure right now and i'm like what is causing that um so i have to get the cat scan without iv contrast because there's a potential to damage the kidneys further if you have you know an acute kidney injury and then you give contrast and there's kind of questions as to whether you can do it when people have chronic kidney disease or not but we're not going to go there today she comes back from the cat scanner and i look at it myself before i got the radiology read back you know we have radiologists that sit in dark rooms with high resolution screens um who that's all they do is read films you know read uh, cat scans x-rays mris etc and before they read it i look at it and i'm like what in god's name is that <laughs> and I like let's can we pull up the CT scan right now can we do that okay I'm gonna come off to one side right here and so let's put the cat scan up right here and I looked at that and I was like is that her bladder is that her flipping bladder and I went back in there and I was like ma'am are you are you going to the bathroom because it looks like there's a baby in your abdomen but there's no baby it's your bladder by the way that white thing at the bottom is the inspiration for the snapchat ghost <laughs> i'm just kidding that's her spine and she said yeah i'm peeing just fine but she's off she's real off and uh and the radiology report comes back and it turns out it was her bladder and then i went back in there and i was like ma'am for your sinuses are you taking any medicine and she's like, yeah. And then before she even says that, I start to see it. Her pupils are dilated. Her pupils are really wide. She's warm to the touch. She's really dry. Her skin is really red. She's crazy. Temporarily, I'm not being a jerk, but she's acting very, very odd. And she's very confused and doesn't even realize that she hasn't peed in like a week. And... If you're familiar with your toxidromes, you may already know what's going on right now. A toxidrome is when there's a collection of signs and symptoms that a patient has that gives you insight into what medicine they could be overdosing on. One of the classic ones is the sympathomimetic toxidrome. And it's exactly like this one, except you're really sweaty, okay? So somebody with a sympathomimetic toxidrome 
has taken a ton of like meth or cocaine or something like that. They're really sweaty. Their pupils are wide. Their pupils are dilated. That's called medriasis. Um, their skin may be red and flushed. Their heart may be racing, right? And these are all very similar to this patient's presentation, which is an anticholinergic toxidrome. And the way to remember it is dry as a bone, mad as a hatter, because she was cray cray, stuffed as a pipe, you can get constipated, um, red as a beet. Oh, I'm missing one. Hold on, I'm going to look it up right now. Uh, full as a flask, you can't pee. All right. Blind as a bat, to remember the midriasis. And that's it. And we got the other ones. So this is an anticholinergic toxidrome from Benadryl. She had taken so much Benadryl that she hadn't peed in a week. And she was so confused and out of it that she hadn't realized it. For those of you who don't know, Benadryl is the same thing as diphenhydramine. That's the generic term for this. And it's an antihistamine or an anti-allergy medicine that is commonly used. Don't take too much of it. And I was like, ma'am, are you taking a ridiculous amount of Benadryl? And her family member was in the room and they were like, and they pointed to her purse and I looked at the purse and there were like 10 boxes of Benadryl in this purse. I couldn't believe it. I was like, ma'am, how much Benadryl are you taking? And she was like, oh, just like four or so every couple hours. I was like four every couple hours. That's a hundred milligrams of Benadryl. You're supposed to take 25 to 15 uh, milligrams of Benadryl. That's two over-the-counter tablets, at least in the US, every about six hours. And she was taking four times as she was taking a hundred milligrams every two hours for like a whole week and so her kidneys were shot because when you don't pee your bladder gets extremely distended fortunately it's uh, almost unheard of for a bladder to rupture but it was so full and so distended that it was poking out out of her abdominal wall and i could just see it when i walked in the room i was like what is that right but when it gets so full like that then obviously the urine doesn't have anywhere to go. So it starts backing up into the kidneys. Then the kidneys get really swollen. You start having an obstructive renal failure, which was her issue, kidney failure. Um, and so we put uh, a catheter in because the issue is that the urine needs to come out, right? So we put a catheter in and four liters came out of her bladder. It may have been more, but I don't want to overshoot it. I think it was four liters which is two of those huge, like two liter Coke bottles. And that was all inside of her bladder. Completely crazy. Um, throughout the course of her stay in the hospital, her kidney function did end up improving significantly. It didn't go all the way back to normal. And she got a little less crazy over time. She came back to her complete normal neurologic baseline. Um, but one of the most mind blowing cases I've ever seen in my life. Woo! Now that's a mind-blowing medical mystery. Oh yeah! <laughs> this is Dr. J. Mack. I hope your mind was just as blown as mine was when I diagnosed this case. Let's do more of these mind-blowing medical mysteries in the future. So you better subscribe!